how does ibuprofen work in our bodies? We take ibuprofen to diminish pain, reduce fever, and inflammation. But what is it that causes these things? Ibuprofen is seen to the world in several forms, including Advil and Motrin. These drugs are examples of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These drugs lower an elevated body temperature, reduce inflammation, and relieve pain. Yet NSAIDs only provide temporary relief. Over time, if no further action is taken other than the use of these drugs, the inflammation will cause damage to the body, even when NSAIDs are taken repeatedly. Ibuprofen inhibits an enzyme called cyclooxygenase, also known as COX. COX is an enzyme in which there are two main types, COX-1 and COX-2. They control the production of prostaglandins. COX-1 carries out the production of prostaglandins. COX-2 is induced by cytokines, mitogens, and endotoxins in inflammatory cells and is also responsible for the production of prostaglandins and inflammation. Prostaglandin levels are increased by COX-2 in scenarios of inflammation. A drug with such diverse effects as mentioned above, as expected, blocks a central process in the body. Ibuprofen blocks the production of prostaglandins. Prostaglandins found in most organs and tissues are chemicals that produce pain signals and inflammation. Prostaglandins are like hormones because they act as chemical messengers, but do not move to other sites. They work right within the cells where they are synthesized. The production of prostaglandins is shown here. The first step, creating prostaglandins from fatty acids, such as arachidonic acid, is shown in the box. Ibuprofen blocks the binding of arachidonic acid that normally occurs during the production of prostaglandins. Further effects. Incest reduces the ability of blood to clot and therefore increase bleeding after an injury. Ibuprofen may cause ulceration of the stomach or intestine, and the ulcers may bleed. Sometimes, ulceration can occur without abdominal pain or usual signs of an ulcer. Internal bleeding, which causes dizziness, black tar stools, and weakness, may be the only signs of an ulcer. Instead, reduce the flow of blood to the kidney.